everyone. Today's video I'm going to use a really gorgeous die cut flower from the ton and I'm going to make a card and then unexpectedly there was a little ripping and shredding that went on <laughs> and then I ended up with two cards. Didn't plan, didn't start out planning to do that but you know sometimes we go where it goes and you guys tell me that you like to see my mistakes and my changes and how I kind of rectify things instead of just doing the whole video over so here you go. It's a little bit of a long video but you'll see how I went from A to B to C to Z. <laughs> Let's get started. first step for this card is to grab my Misty and I'm going to pull out this black foam piece and put in this rubber stamp. You cannot stamp with rubber stamps with that black piece in there because it'll be too thick. So just pull that straight out. A lot of people ask me where I get the Misty. It's mysweetpetunia.com. Tell her Catherine sent you. You're going to love it. I use it quite a bit. I was skeptical at first, <laughs> but I really, really do love this tool. Now, I want this entire piece of cardstock to be stamped, so there's nowhere for me to put my magnets, because if I put my magnet here, well, then it wouldn't get stamped, right? So, I just have a little bit of adhesive on the bottom, or on um, the back, and I'm just going to tack it down. And normally, well, let me show you, I would put it in the corner here, but I'm afraid that I'll get an edge, and the whole thing won't get stamped. So, we'll move it over to the middle adhere it down, make sure it's straight, and then I'll be able to ink it. Now with this big background stamp being so detailed, I'm really thinking I might have to ink it a couple times to get it to stamp fully. So I'm probably going to end up needing to stamp this two or three times. Let's see, here's two. So I'll give it one more pass. So I've finished stamping this piece and I'm going to set it aside while I work on these flowers. I have this fabulous new die set by the ton and I've cut out a bunch of black and a bunch of white and the black is going to be for another project but the white I'm going to use today, this is cut out of watercolor paper. I used Canson and I'm just taking my Distress Inks and smooshing them onto the cardstock. I'm going to make a little puddle with some water and then we'll just dip these flowers in. Now this card is being inspired by one that I made in my Craftsy class and if you haven't taken that yet, you're going to want to check it out. Be sure to use my link because you'll get 50% off the class fee with that. The class claims to have 21 techniques in there, but between me and you, I think there's a ton more than 21. <laughs> so go check it out. I would love to see you over there. So I'm just going to dip and color and play. The more water you use, the lighter the color is going to be. And then once you let them dry, if you see, you may want more color on there so you can continue to dip and dry and dip and dry and dip and dry. <laughs> so we'll just set these aside. I don't think I'm going to use all these on one project, so I may be making more than one. I should have done a kiss card here. And look at how this one is drying. I should put up it again put it up against some white. Well, that's not helpful at all, but <laughs> it's looking gorgeous. Then I have some leaves, so we'll do a little bit of peeled paint and some crushed olive. And when you use two colors, it just gives more depth to your finished piece. Look at that. That is gorgeous. We'll just let that dry. Now as these are drying, I want to add some more dimension. So I'm just dragging the flowers, just the edges, through a little bit of that chip sapphire. And the chip sapphire mixes with the purple a bit and gives a darker purple color and they look gorgeous. To go with the hello background, I'm going to use greetings from this stamp set by the ton. I'm going to use just saying hello. And I thought that if I stamped on black and did a white embossed image for the sentiment that would be really um, a really nice contrast so my only tricky part is <laughs> sometimes it's a little tough to emboss white on black so my image is stamped I'm just going to take some white embossing powder tap it off this is wow embossing powder and I really like it because most of the time you don't have to 
use a deactivator tool with WOW embossing powder. So that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna heat up my heat tool for a second. If it starts out hot, then it won't warp your paper as much when you actually do the embossing part. You probably have heard me say that before. So I'm just gonna emboss this real quick and then I'll trim it down and it'll be ready to go on the card. I've cut my layers. This is four and a quarter by five. And then I have a black layer to go behind it. It's four and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then the card base is just cut longwise or lengthwise, lengthwise, longwise. <laughs> And assembly is pretty easy. So this is a very basic card layout. There's tons of things you can do going from here. You can keep it really simple or go wild and crazy and um, add a bunch of layers and embellishments on top. So I'm gonna add this greeting strip. I added some dimensional adhesive on the back and I'm gonna put it toward the bottom, hopefully getting this lined up. And I'll just trim off the end, edge ends. <laughs> I was gonna say edges or ends and I said engines. <laughs> <laughs> and then which flower? So this one, because of the placement of everything, this one may be a hand-delivered card because this leaf is going to go off the end a little bit. I don't know. I might be able to squeeze that in an envelope. Before I move forward, I had adhered this down here, and that doesn't give me enough room to put this. So I pulled it off, and I noticed... Well, now I have some boo-boos here. So how are we gonna remedy that? Well, I have an idea. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this peeled paint and I'm gonna make a little palette. I'm gonna get my paintbrush really wet, pick up some of that color, and then I'll just tap it and we'll get some green flecks on the background and then it'll make it look like I meant to do that. And here I go adding. I like that so much that I'm grabbing my Perfect Pearls Mist in Sunflower Sparkle. And I'm going to do the same thing with that and get some gold sparkle on here. If you want bigger dots, just take the nozzle or the what, whatever this thing is called and just touch it right down and you'll get some bigger specks and flicks. So the trickiest part of this whole card is this little flower here. <laughs> I maybe perhaps should have just done this a flat card instead of having dimension because then I had to figure out how to get these little pieces of dimensional adhesive on this flower without them showing showing on the front but I think I managed <laughs> and so we'll just add this right here and actually I'm not even sure how that is going to go on maybe I'll just use some of these instead so maybe like I feel like some of them are floating away. Okay, I've played around with the positioning a bit and I think I've got it now. So I'll do one open flower and one closed flower at the bottom. And then I always like to do odd numbers because it's more pleasing to the eye. It helps your eye travel around and um, moving throughout the piece. So we'll just do a little liquid glue on the bottom here, add these in. I think this one's going kind of tucked behind there and little taller and then this one will just kind of be floating away at the top so i've kind of done some deconstructing here <laughs> i'm looking at this card and it's bugging me i think because this flower is so kind of wispy and delicate and so is this background and they're just blending into each other one of them needs to be bold it needs to be a big bold background with like i don't know or the flower needs to be more solid so just together they're not working for me so i'm gonna um, go back to the drawing board in a second on this but in the meantime I made this one so I did the same little background here I did that hello and then I did a big black piece there and um, I took the purple flower and I dipped it in red so there are some spots that are still a little purpley like down here but this is just a design option here so I'm gonna keep moving on this so <laughs> thought I was all done filming this video. So I thought if I pulled in a circle, that would help kind of break that up and give this some contrast behind it. And then I thought if I did it out of glitter paper, that would be really awesome. And then I did a large layer. And then as I was laying it down here, I thought of something else. I'm going to grab my Big Shot and I'm going to cut the next size circle out of the black paper. I'm going to take this black piece, I have embossing powder all over the place. 
going to add dimensional adhesive here so this will pop up and it will give some interest and dimension to the layer. If you hear my kids in the kitchen, Elena is doing a little experiment for school. She's doing like Kraft macaroni and cheese, the store brand, and so speaking of the devil, Elena just came in here, asked me a question about macaroni and cheese. She's getting store brand and the like non-generic, what's that called? The, like Kraft macaroni and cheese and then store brand. And then she's getting store brand lemonade and then, um, I can't remember, Simply Lemonade is it called? And then she got Oreos and then the store brand Oreos and we're all taste testing them. So she's in the kitchen um, cooking and having a ball right now. So I'll just adhere the flowers and the leaves right onto that glitter paper and onto the card base. So now we have something that has a little more contrast, a little more interest, that flower stands out a little better. And I think that little cutout is pretty fun. I think that's a technique that I may try out again. I ended up with two cards here and we took an unexpected twist and turn to get there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and be sure to check back in a couple days because I'm doing another video with the same flower and we're gonna make a really clean and simple card that packs a punch. Thanks for being here. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this. See you again soon.